Hey, need some Madden coins? Check out CheapMaddenCoins.com. They got the best prices, they got fast delivery, and 24-7 custom support. Be sure to use code TEXAS at checkout for a 10% discount. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy TEXAS. We back on the Mad Ultimate Team. Play some Salary Cap. I know it's Weekend League, but they announced the rewards you get for being elite tier in Salary Cap and also a Mutt Draft. And I figure, let's go ahead and try to get to elite tier. The reward's pretty cool. You get like 25,000 coins. So if I'm elite tier in both, that's 50k. You get, what, 25 tickets, which is fantastic. And I think I'm going to need the tickets. I'm going to go in on the mud drafts when they update that this upcoming Wednesday. So hopefully I can get to elite tier by then. I doubt that's going to happen unless I probably went out this season to play a couple more games. If you also get like, I think, Legends Fantasy Packs, then you get three of them some gold player packs. So nothing crazy, but I want the tickets. So I'm going to go ahead and knock this out. I already got my lineup in place. Um, we lost the game. We should be five and six. The game that I lost, I had to go to a concert, and I thought I could beat, make, my, make my opponent quit. And I was on the brink of making him quit, but he had a kick return. And he was not leaving after that. He was like, I'm staying in this game, so I ran out of time. It's all cool, though. It's all good. Adjust lineup. So this is the team we got right now. This is the offense. The best offense you'll see in salary cap, right? Look, we got we got Melvin Gordon, and that's pretty much it, right? So the reason why I went all bronze because in, in a silver is because I really wanted to get my defense looking right. So I think if I do this again, I'll probably invest heavy in the quarterback than the running back. Because the receivers will drop passes, but he possession catch, he typically catch everything. But because my quarterback is not the most accurate player in the game, I think I can go ahead and get by with using a budget running back with a low salary cap and then get a quarterback that can actually make all the throws. Because there's some passes in this game that this dude has made that this makes no sense. Dude's right there in front of him. The ball goes over my man's head into the user behind him. I don't know how that's possible. I think it's like a script animation, but it is what it is. So that's my far pick of the offense that we got. But hey! Had a good time. We won four games so far with the offense because we can get one touchdown and defense locks up. The defense we got is special. It's basically my main defense I play in weekend league. I got everybody over there. I got Sean Taylor playing cornerback. I sub him out at free safety with a game start. Put him down at cornerback. We're good to go there. My defensive line is monstrous. They get pressure pretty easily. Vaughn with the plus two to block. She to everybody. Barry Church, Miles Jack, Luke Keekley as a user. Telvin Smith, Jalen over here, and we get busy four games basically one on defense about four pick sixes a lot of interceptions and a lot of sacks it's fun so i'm going to record these next two games win or lose and i'll post them and see where I'm, my status is for the salary cap and i think we'll try this again next time with the offense go heavy on offense and go low end on defense and see if we can win some games without scoring our opponents anyway without further ado let's go ahead and get into the game so my man's team out here is actually pretty balanced, like low overalls. And then he has Bo at kicker. Like, that's a really huge investment to make into a guy of Bo's, Bo's caliber. Oh, oh, let's go, Melvin. I shouldn't have spun. I think I could have got Iran him. All right, the stretch plays are so crazy. I got a bronze old line. And I'm out here getting great yards. Now, it's probably not going to work the entire time because the game is really inconsistent. But we'll see if it happens, bro. As long as I can get in field goal range and not mess it up, as long as I can get in field goal, we're good. We're good. My quarterback, Austin Davis, is fast enough to maybe get out of the pocket and move. Like, right now, I'm running this post route. My guy's not going to be open. But you know who's going to be open? My quarterback. My quarterback going to get out here and run the hell out of this rock. I'll tell you that. All right, I think it is audible to cover three. Now he's back to cover two. No, he just flipped the play. He just flipped the play. Oh, no! Wait, Lawrence Taylor that fast? Okay. So I can outrun him. Little did I know Lawrence Taylor going to be out here with the big hit. Look, it was a fumble, though. All right, cool. So he's not going to put a spy up, which is what I wanted him to do, so I can get better blocking with three, which is cool. The block. Woo! Look at that, bro. This is why we got hit Austin Dave. Yeah, I think next time it's just going to be F the running back, bro. Go quarterback, because that's more important. Like, Russell Wilson probably get the job done at this position. Maybe the Cam Newton would be great here. As, yeah, we're not going to be able to run any of the traditional run plays because those don't give you good blocking. It's kind of funny, man. Certain plays do a lot better. You know what? I think it's time here with this toss. I think it's time here with the toss play. Toss sweep. This has been my secret play. I run this. I get If I get the good blocking on it, I can get in field goal range rather easy, you know? Look at that block right there. Ooh. Ooh. Run it to the other side, bro. He ain't ready for it. He ain't ready for it. He's not. I mean, he might be ready for it. I think it might field goal range, but I don't get this first. Oh, you got to be kidding. That's a shitty block attempt. That's a good heat-seeking tackle. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god, look at the defense. Ah! Ah! Dog, dog, dog. My defense forces. Salary cap is on a different playing field. Like, I don't know if you guys, if you guys are God squads, bro, build a salary cap team. Because, like, it, the fumbles are more hard hitting. The defense is better. Like, there's just so much going on in this mode that is ridiculous that you don't see online, bro. These things are all competitive, but they're not, they're not the same. Like, it can't be the same. I don't know. It put me in a weird situation. Uh, now I'm blitzing. Luckily, he's going to be throwing the ball or passing the ball. Oh, no. Back up, bro. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Randy Moss out here, bro. We are not about to get beat by Randy Moss. There we go. That should be a fumble. All right. Luckily, we got pressure there. I don't know what the hell they put me in 4-3 for. I, I never run 4-3. Why did You know what? That's just the man developers trolling me right now. They put me out here in something that I only ever run. What kind of shit is that? I never run 4-3. We're like, oh, here you go. There we go. Good tackle. So the cool thing about going high end on defense is a lot of guys don't invest in their offensive line, which is good if they're going to be passing the ball. If they run the ball, they can still get good yards because that's how Madden works. If they pass the ball, it's a wrap. Especially if I blitz one more person, the guys just can't hold up up front. Nice throw. Nice find. Sean Taylor, a little too deep right there. A little too deep. A little too deep. I swear, bro. I hate how I have to move him up to play the 10-yard line to guard these post routes because that should not be open in cover three, but he is always too deep. All right. Nice drive, nice drive by him. Nice, nice find. Run it again. Run it again. Uh... So I flipped my defensive ends. My Yannick and Gakwe guy is not getting off the edge. I probably should have chose Bosa over him. But I had Jags team train, so I'm like, I got to choose that because I happen to have the plus one boost, which doesn't go against salary cap. Like, this mode is, oh, no. Nobody wants to go after him? I swear. Okay, I got to put a spot now. I love it that my defensive ends did not want to have contain no matter what this guy does. So we put a spot now. I know he's going to the ball here. Good tackle. All right, hold him to a field goal, guys. Hold him to a field goal. We're not going to allow any touchdown on this defense. The only touchdown we gave up is in the kick return. We're not going to give up no passing touchdown, no rush, none of that nonsense. In the bud right now, bro. Keep running the ball, bro. Keep getting out of the pocket. Devon going to chase your ass down. Devon going to chase your ass down, bro. Devon going to chase your ass down, bro. Devon going to chase your ass down, bro. Let's go. It's a pick six. That's a pick six. See? Stay your ass in the pocket. I don't know why guys leave the pocket because eventually I'm going to pick it up and I'm just going to walk in the end zone. Let's go, baby. Now, leave my game. Leave my game. Got it. Like that. Oh, my. We're just not going to sack the quarterback? Bruh. Oh, my. What are you? Why did Sean Taylor not even run towards the tech? All right, we, we just lost. I, I, we just gave a touchdown up on the most bullshit thing ever. Can't tackle the quarterback. Can't tackle the receiver. And then Sean Taylor just runs towards the, like, what? Dog, what is wrong with this game? Man, what a way to lose a game when you literally just get screwed from EA. Like, the Madden guys do not want me winning this game, bro. First of all, Von Miller doesn't make this tackle on Aaron Rodgers, which is okay, understandable, whatever. It's Aaron Rodgers, makes a nice throw. I go for the big hit, miss, and then Von Miller gets back into play and can't make the tackle, but the more egregious play here is this motherfucker. Like, literally, what is he doing? Where is he running? The play, run to this, like, this is, what, like, yo, like, this bro, the game's so broken still. The guy's going for the tackle, and it wonks everybody out. Keekley's running backwards for some reason. Like, what the, nah, this is the most flukiest shit I've seen. Like, he shouldn't have scored there. This game should have been three to six. I should have lost still probably, but it shouldn't have been a touchdown. My defense played well. It's just the flukes in this game that happened. And flukes, guys, I hate it. I know I'm complaining and I'm raging and I'm annoying right now. You guys are probably saying you suck. But I just, there's nothing I can do about that loss. I did everything I possibly could. Nobody on my team wanted to help me out. That's the worst part about the game. You do all the stuff. You make all the right decisions. Make all the right plays. And nobody on the team wants to help you out. You just got to do it your damn self. So I guess next time I'm going to go a little less top heavy on defense, even though it worked and I should have won that fucking game. But hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles.